The Supreme Court heard arguments for the biggest legal battle for the Second Amendment in 10 years. Emotions outside the nation's highest court are running high. Lauren Blanchard has more from Washington. America needs all us to speak out, even when you have to fight to find the words. Activists for gun reform and gun rights gathered outside the Supreme Court Wednesday. Anybody who is a law-abiding citizen should have the right to carry a firearm to defend themselves. As inside, the 6-3 conservative majority court heard arguments on New York's century-old gun permit law. It requires people to prove proper cause for a concealed gun permit. Carrying a firearm outside the home is a fundamental constitutional right. It is not some extraordinary action that requires an extraordinary demonstration of need. There is no final ruling yet, and a decision could have nationwide implications. There are more than half a dozen states with similar laws. The justices expressed concerns with allowing state entities to broadly decide who and where people can exercise the Second Amendment. Why isn't it good enough to say I live in a violent area and um, I want to be able to defend myself? While the more liberal justices wondered, along with activists, if allowing more concealed guns could allow for more violence. There are 50,000 people in one place. They're all on top of each other. We don't want guns there. That's, you, you, you couldn't, the, the, the city or the state couldn't do that. The chief justice seemingly skeptical of the argument, rural residents should have access to a permit more than those in the city. How many muggings take place in the forest? If the Supreme Court does not pass the issue back to the lower courts, a final ruling is expected in June of next year.